I think I caught one. Maybe. That was weird. Yeah, I did. Hey, wait, what the heck is that? That's so vibrant. Is that a rockfish? And he went for the clam one too. Whoa. Hold on, let me get him off and get a better picture. I think it's a sculpin, but look how vibrantly red he is. That's so beautiful. I've never caught one this red. Wow, what the heck? Beautiful fish for sure. All right, let's let you on back, Mr. Sculpin. Thanks for playing. I'm getting tackled by teeny tiny fishies. Look, there's one swimming around it right now. Yeah. Is what is well, it? I don't know, I can't tell. They're swarming. There's so many of them. There's at least- 20. 20 fish within view right now. I think it's a senorita. They're not biting them. They're just kind of swimming around. Amber's first fish looks like a decent jack smelt on the fish bites, electric chicken shrimp flavored. Ooh. Back you go, Mr. Jack Smelt. Thanks for playing. Ooh. Nibbles, some nice ones. There we go. Let's see what we got. Nice, it looks like a little calico or kelp. Little dinky guy. We went for the fish bites electric chicken. Look how beautiful he is. Okay, Mr. Boat. <laughs> Look how beautiful he is. Such nice vibrant colors. Looks just like the kelp down there, and he has some iridescent green on his head. Beautiful fish. Very small though, I'm only assuming like six inches. Need to be 14 inches to keep. Thanks for playing, Mr. Calico. What's up, anglers and anglets? It's your boy Sven, and welcome back to my channel. So, for today, Amber and I are filming for the 1K sub special. Ah. We actually booked a cruise. Right now, we're currently at Catalina, as you can see behind me. Mountainous trees, nature, ocean. That's our boat. Hi boat. It's a good boat. It's a good boat. I just want to take a brief moment to say thanks guys. I really mean it. To all of you guys who have stuck around, this literally would not be possible without you. And thanks for giving shenanigans fishing a try. I didn't even think we'd get this far, honestly. Think about it. A thousand is a lot. That's like a bigger stadium full of people. Well, enough duping around. Let's get back to fishing. Whee! Yep, just kidding. We're not going in the ocean with the GoPro. For now. So I can see the water is super beautiful. There's a whole bunch of kelp here. Kelp is great structure, lots of fish around. Almost instant nibbles when you cast down. Some of them are really small though. Like we can see a whole bunch of smelt. I think Amber caught something. It's a tiny calico. You got a tiny calico? What is that? A fish for ants? Wait, that's crazy. I didn't know they made a noise. Do you hear that? Squad to our channel. <laughs> wow! What a cool fish! Very cool fish. How big do you think he is? I don't know, about like a thousand eighty-seven. No, that's your subscriber count. I don't know. I think he's about, what, like four inches, give or take? Okay. A little dinky boy. All right, let's let him on back. Man, they're so beautiful. These guys, when they're way bigger, put up a really nice fight. Thanks for playing, little guy. You know where I caught him? Where? I kept under. Oh, wait, there's an under part? Yeah. There is an under part. But yeah, as I was saying, look at all this kelp. There is so many fishies all over the place. Earlier, just smelt wise, we counted at least 20 within view. A whole bunch of Garibaldi, of course. Can't keep them. State marine fish, not a big deal though. Just throw them back once you catch them. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but I can see at least five Garibaldi just right now. So much fish here. Crazy amount. Ah! Another dinky calico. It's the same one. It looks about the same one. Nice. Hey. It's popping over here. A little dinky boy. Fish bites, electric chicken works really well for calico, big and small. Back to go, dinky boy. Oh, he just zooted. Where? There is a wasp. Nibbles or kelp? It's one of them. Maybe nibbles and kelp. 
Hello, Sealy boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, oh, I wasn't paying attention. Mr. Sealy boy distracted me. Oh well, no yeah, big deal. That was a nice one though. Oh, it's still there. All right, I'm ready for you. Come on. There we go. Nice. It's another still dinky calico, but it's a much bigger one. I think this one's like seven-ish inches, give or take. Very nice. Hey, he went for the fish bites flesh and pink. All right, so they both work for calico. Good to know. I mean, we're just gonna catch these guys all day. Got no problems with that. Very fun to fight, even if they're super small. All right, thanks for playing, Mr. Calico. Here's one reason why I like using fish bites so much. Look how shredded up this is, and yet it will still catch fish. This little meshing helps keep it on the hook. They're very durable and they last a really long time. We're probably gonna have to change out the fish bites in like a couple more catches. Here's the electric chicken one. Same as the other one, very shredded up, but will still catch fish just like this. Nibble nibbles, been in the water for like 15 seconds. Could also be the kelp. I think it's a fish though, it feels like a fish. Think I got it? Yeah, I got it. It's in the kelp though. Okay, uh, looks like it's a rock wrasse. I don't know if I can get them out. I'll still try. Come on. Don't worry, Mr. Rock Rass. I'll get you out. Looks like it's the bottom hook. This is the problem when you're fishing in a place with a lot of kelp. Oh! Okay, I'm so sorry about that, Mr. Rock Rass. What do you mean? He probably loved it. It's like for a moment, I was a flying fish. Yeah. An actual desirable fish species. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Just kidding. Let's get him off. He's rocky and he's rassy. But he's not both. Just like the Senorita, rock wrasses are also notorious bait stealers. Super tiny mouth. Beautiful fish though. All right, let's let you on back, Mr. Tiny Rock Rass. Very chunky too. Is that milt? He likes being rough-handed. <laughs> All right, back you go. It's such a beautiful day. Nice and sunny, little light breeze. Water looks amazing. Lots of fish everywhere. Couldn't ask for a better day of fishing. And you guys know me. I don't care what I catch. It's just fun to catch stuff. Dinky boys or big boys, doesn't matter. The point of fishing should be to fish and enjoy the beautiful nature that's all around us. I don't know anywhere in California, locally at least, where there's this many kelps that I can fish. I mean, technically we're still in California, but I'm talking about like on the mainland. There's probably some places, I just haven't found it yet. Nibble, 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 nibble. Been got Maybe? Ah, uh, through the kelp again. Yeah! Another dinky calico. Also probably about four inches. Look at how much fish bites is left and he still went for it. I'm telling you, these baits are awesome. This one looks like he's a little bit more orangey too. Love the variations. Look how orange that fin is. Beautiful dinky boy. All right, back you go. It's finally time. This fish bite's all gone, it's just the meshing. And here's the electric chicken after that little dinky calico. It probably could still catch another one, but why not just put a new nice fresh piece on to see if we can entice some bigger ones. So here's my thought process when fishing in kelpie areas. I try to find a nice zone of clearing. There's some kelp over here. There's some kelp over here. Right in the middle right there, it doesn't look like there's too much kelp, so that's where I'm gonna cast it. Just right there. Let it sink all the way down. Now oh, it's really deep. Okay, close the bale and just tighten the slack up a little bit. When you're reeling in with all these kelp around, you wanna reel really fast. Try to get away from all this kelp. It also helps when you're reeling in to find a nice pathway that's clear of kelp when you're reeling through, just to try to get away from as much of it. Find a nice opening, cast it in. Okay, release the bale first. Cast it in, let it sink, close the bale, tighten the slack up a bit. And then it's just more waiting. Shouldn't be too long though. Since kelp will usually have a whole bunch of fish around, if you're not getting any nibbles in like the first couple minutes, don't be afraid to reel up and just cast back around. Just gotta find those little honey holes of fish. Might be in the kelp. Oh, darn kelp. What's up, honey? Hey, you caught another one. 
Sadler Dinky Calico for Amber. Oh man, his fins are very orangey. Yeah. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful fish. Look how orangey those fins are. Beautiful. Okay, back to go. Thanks for playing, Dinky boy. Another dinky one for Amber. There's so many of these guys over here. Hey, look, a submarine. Let's use Amber's good old green bean. She's taking a break right now, so let's see what we can catch. Super dinky hook, size 12. Actually going with dinky fish for this one. Also trying the fish bites and clam flavor. I just put this fen away. It is actually almost time for us to go as well. We have to dock back on the cruise ship before they leave. So no point to... Oh, what the heck was that? Some fish just jumped out. Dinky nibbles. Almost. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, this one's nice. Feels a lot bigger than a dinky one. Nice, it's another rock wrasse. Okay, they go for the clam ones too. Wow, look how vibrantly red that eye is. Very nice. Little bait stealers. All right, let's get you off. Here's a better look. Well, not as red as when I caught them. Might be stressed out right now. You know, not a lot of people like the rock wrasse, but I think they're pretty neat. Very beautiful colors. A little bar right here, a yellow fin, just like the croaker. Try eating one before. Not that good though. Back you go, Mr. Rock Rass. So the fish bites clam works for rock wrasse. Not sure what you would want with that information, but there you go. I actually think it's a little silly that rock wrasse don't taste that good. Well, they're not bad. It's just not something I would take home. They're also related to sheephead, which are awesome eats. Maybe it was the way I cooked it. Might give it another go one day. Yeah, it looks like we're probably just gonna catch stinky fish for today, but that's all right, no big deal. It was just really nice to be out here and do a little fishing. Love the area. Avalon looks so beautiful. There's just so much nature. Love the fact that there's this huge kelp bed, easy access for fishing as well. Pretty cool spot to fish. Might just be small ones today. Oh well, we'll be back out here eventually. I think I caught one, maybe? That was weird. Yeah, I did. Hey, wait, what the heck is that? That's so vibrant. Is that a rockfish? And he went for the clam one too. Whoa. Hold on, let me get him off and get a better picture. I think it's a sculpin, but look how vibrantly red he is. That's so beautiful. I've never caught one this red. Wow, what the heck? Beautiful fish for sure. All right, let's let you on back, Mr. Sculpin. Thanks for playing. Most sculpins I've caught before are just a nice bright orange. I've never seen one that like vermilion red, honestly. That was so cool. It just comes to show how much variation there is within every species. I think my favorite one is the giant kelpfish. They change their colors based on the surrounding kelp. So right now, this kelp right here is pretty brown. If there was some kelpfish around and I caught it, they would match it. And if the kelp was like super red, they would match it too. Very cool.